hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am going to talk about things that I want brands to release. So I have picked out seven brands that I want them to release a certain product or maybe two products, one or two. And I really wish that this would happen because I think they would do it amazing. So I think we just hop into this. So I'm going to tell you which brand it is and what I want to see them do and why. So first up, I can say Shroud. And this was the first thing that came to my mind because I did this look with the Divinity palette today. And when I was going to use a lipstick, I was like... I really wish that Shroud would have had liquid lipsticks. I think they would have done amazing liquid, li liquid lipsticks. I think the colors they would do would suit me like perfectly because I just love the aesthetic of their brand. It's grungy but at the same time it's a little bit cute and I think they would do amazing liquid lipsticks. I think they would have amazing like deep reds and other like colors that you don't see at so many brands and I would really 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 love if they could do liquid lipsticks and I would love them to do other things than eyeshadows as well maybe highlighters and blushes because I think they would do cool face products but liquid lipsticks it's something that I really really want to see from Shroud. I really hope that they will step out of just doing eyeshadows and try something new. I know it's only one woman that is having shroud and it's doing everything, but it would be amazing if Chloe would like to like step out of the eyeshadows and do something more. I know I will 100% buy from shroud if they would do liquid lipsticks. The next brand is one of my favorite brands and it is Kaleidos. And it's two things that I want to see from them. One thing that they have had but they don't have anymore and that is blushes. They did release two duo blushes. They got a lot of criticism for them and they wasn't amazing. But I think that they could do amazing blushes. They do amazing highlighters and if they would do blushes like in the same way, I think it would be a hit. And I would love if they would do like a blush that matches one of the highlighters. That would be really cool. Uh, I like to do it. I often don't. But sometimes if I'm doing a really pinkish blush, I love to take a pink highlighter. I guess most of us do that. I guess that is the normal thing to do. But I would love if Kaleidos would do matching blushes to their highlighters it would be so cool imagine like the moon cruiser highlighter and like a bluish blush but it's not that blue but it has like a cold blue undertone that would be a cool blush and i really wish <laughs> that they would try to do blushes again and I also want Kaleidos to release eye pants, like these pants, mostly because I also think that they would do really amazing color on them. I would love to have really bright ones and that matches all of the palettes. The one thing I really, really love about Kaleidos, more than they have amazing eyeshadows and amazing lipsticks, is that they do sets of things. What if like they release a six pan palette and there would be a six piece of eye pens to that palette, one to each shade. It would be so cool to mix and match those and I think that people will love that. I would love that. And just imagine like now the VR Neon isn't anymore. But imagine like the VR Neon, the Neon palette they had with matching pens. Yeah, so from Kaleidos I would want matching blushes to their highlights and also matching 
eye pens to their eyeshadow palettes. Next up I'm going to talk about is Nabla and they have kind of done this before. I don't know why they don't do it anymore but I would love them to do stick blushes and highlighters. I have a stick highlighter from Nabla that is from an old holiday collection. This is the best stick highlight I have ever tried. You can just take this on on your face and it looks good. No need to blend or anything. And for me that has some problems with stick products, I love this one. And I don't know why they didn't keep this one. I can't remember if they had blushes at the same time. I don't think they did. Or did they? I don't think so. I think they had maybe like three or four of these. But I would love if they would do it again. I think it would be really good to have it like with the Skin Realist. Because I think when you're using stick products, you can often do a more natural look. Now it's cat hair everywhere. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but I think it would go really good to the Skin Realist. I love when I have like this on or another skin tint to have either a cream blush or a stick blush. I like stick blushes most. So I would love if Nabla would do that again. And I think it would go great with their lying with the skin realist and I think that Nabla they have like their full coverage foundation and the skin realist that is a skin tint a tinted balm I don't know what to call it but it would be so fun to see them go and do sticks again another brand that I wished would would take back some things is Menaudry Way back when they were makeup monsters, they did highlighters. And some people that I watch have their old highlighters and they look freaking amazing. I would wish that they would take them back and do them again. They have gone over from doing eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks only to do face powders and blushes. So I think the next step would be to do highlighters. And I think like Menardi, I almost said Makeup Monsters, Menardi would do more fun colors in their highlighters than other brands. Their blush palette is not as a normal blush palette. I think it has a purple and a deep like reddish color. And I think it would go great with their line to take back highlighters again. The next brand, I they have done kind of this, but I want them to do more. And that is LH Cosmetics or Linda Halberg Cosmetics. And I want them to do single shadows. And why you might ask? Because of this. And because of this, I want them to do single shadows. This is cigar that I've used for my brows and this is Milky Way. I think you can see the pan that I've used as an highlight and like I love these two but like the other shades I am not even close to pan but like I, I want this cigar in my life I want it as an eyeshadow and as a brow color that's why I haven't used it for a long time because I don't want to run out of it but I can't like buy the whole palette again just for these two shades. They did release this Virgo as a single highlighter. But I wish that they would do magnetics of their Infinity palettes. At least Infinity this original and Infinity Deep. Because I think a lot more than me are using them as a face palette as well. And when you're using something on your face use more than on your eyes so I think it would be really good for them to do magnetics like when KVD did their shade and light palette to magnetic instead I think that was a really good choice for them and I know that Linda Holberg it would go so good if they did magnetics single shadows Mostly because it is supposed to be 
It's supposed to be multi use and like you see this? You see this? It's just a rim left. So I really hope they will continue and release more. But like with the Vir Virgo, they did release it in component. Component? Component. In little. <laughs> it wasn't like a single single. And I wish that they would do that so you can fill up your palette again. That could make me buy a new palette if it was... You could take out shades. I, I think they should do it and I hope that they will do it. And then I also want to talk about Lunar Beauty. I really like their eyeshadows. I have three of their palettes. Four of their palettes? Yeah, I have four of the palettes. And I really like them all. I wish to, though, <laughs> that they would release mini palettes. They have at least 15 shadows in all of their palettes. I think the new one, the Life's Drag Facelift, is it 18? Or is it more? I think it might be 18. I would love if they would do a minis instead because I really like the colorful corner of the Life's a Drag facelift but I don't want the neutral. I wish that they would do mini palettes. Like Nabla's doing their six pan, I think it would be so cool if they could do like the best of the palettes in a mini. I know that Natasha Denona she does like a big palette sometimes and then they do like this, I think it's five. It's not the same shadows, I think. Or is it? It must be. But it's like the same theme. Maybe I can take an example. <laughs> if we take the Moonspell palette. It looks like this. I think like if they would have done a mini version of this. They could have done like maybe these three and then maybe these three in a palette to get like the little treasures from the palette. Do you understand what I mean then? Like you get the best of the best. Now this was a bad example because I really like this palette but maybe I should take uh, Strawberry Dream instead even though I guess that you understand what I mean. But it looks like this. I think this can be a bad example as well. Yeah. Like why do I try so hard when i 100% sure that you know what I mean? We can take <laughs> the Greek Goddess, the neutral palette. It doesn't need that many colors. Uh, maybe you can like split it like this. I don't know, but I would love if they would do mini palettes. And then the last brand that I want to talk about in this video is Lethal Cosmetics. If you didn't know, I love Lethal and I think they are they are growing uh, with different products. I love that they have single shadows, that they have eyeshadow palettes and they have liquid lipsticks, they have sunglasses, they have bullet lipsticks, highlighters, bronzers, contour shades, blushes that they do amazing and they have their pot liners. I wish though that they would do eye pens as well. Same as with Kaleidos. I think they pots, pot cream liners, yellow liners maybe it's called. They look amazing. But I know that I wouldn't use it that much. I know that you can use it on your waterline, but it's just not for me, but I love the colors. They have amazing colors, like really strong neons, and I wish that they could put that in a little pen instead so I could buy it and use it, because I know if I buy one of the pots, I'm going to use it maybe like crazy the first time, but then it's I know it's going to dry up because I use a lot of different shades and uh, it's better with a pen because a pen holds so much longer than a pot liner. It's, 
it's just us. So I wish that they would do their cool, amazing gel liners into pens. And that was actually all for this video. Is there something that you really want a brand to release that you know that you will love, but they just don't release it and you don't know why? Please comment down below. It would be so fun to hear what you think. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you want me to do another part, maybe I can try it. I don't know which brands I want to talk about then, but I am sure that I can come up with some brands. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!